Welcome back, everybody, to Tokusatsu Girlfriend! Yay! Welcome back! Oh my... We have a new show that we are sitting down and watching. We do, we do. Oh my we goodness. We have not just one, though. That's right. We, we had have... our tournament just the other day. Yeah. And, well, technically yesterday. Technically yesterday. We jumped right into it. We are not wasting anyone's time least of all yours we're trying to stockpile as many of these as we can get them under our belt get them to go because we have not one winner like you said but two two count them one two that we're gonna be no that's confusing people might think i it's know o's. i realized <laughs> I, I in my head i was like this is clever it can be like an o's thing but then i'm like no well it's like a it's like a common order build thing it is best match. That's right. I don't know if Geki Ranger and Build are best match, <laughs> but we will find out We're here. We're going to find out. And if they aren't best match, that's okay. So these winners were decided by you guys who joined us live for our tournament for this season. And we're doing something a little different. So we're going to still be bringing you a new episode every week, but we're going to be alternating which show we are talking about each week. So... This episode you're listening to right now, obviously, Common Rider Build. But next week's, we're not going to be covering Common Rider Build 5 to 8. We're going to be covering Geki Ranger 1 to 4. And we're going to alternate back and forth between those just because we had a tie. And I can't believe it. I'm I'm gobsmacked by like how crazy like some of those matches got. I know. They were real nail biters. Oh, my goodness. The, the common Rider on the top bracket and Geki Ranger uh, against everything else on the bottom half of the bracket. It was amazing. Thank you guys so much yes, for yes. supporting, for just watching and hanging out with us. And of course, for listening right now, which special episode right now, we are watching this all from the comfort of our couch. Oh, it's so nice. I can't recommend it enough. <laughs> I brought everything out into the, the living room to to watch and record. So we recorded episode one watching commentary for build uh, pretty much just from the couch. And it's so nice. We have a chase lounge. Not that anyone cares to know this, but I am very comfortable right now under a blank. It's like doing a podcast from bed. I'm, I'm worried because <laughs> we have vaulted ceilings in our living room that the sound quality is not going to be as good or it's going to be too echoey. <laughs> oh, that was an echo. I heard that. Uh -huh. So hopefully uh, I can post production in a little bit and make it sound better. If it's not good already, our, well, our roadcaster does pretty good. Yeah. And I mean, if it's just we can't work with it, hey, we gave it a shot. We can move back into the office space if we have to. But at least for these first few Oh, this is nice. Yeah. <laughs> so bear with us. Um, but I feel like no matter what the quality is going to be like, everybody here is rooting and going for build. And everybody was super excited for build. There was a lot for Geki Ranger as well. But I feel like build definitely had the majority of people that were like, this is, this is it. This is what this we should watch next. Build was my number one choice. I didn't want to reveal it. Same. Because I never want to sway anyone, but build was my number one choice. I was team build. I can't remember who was calling it team build, but I was a secret, secret member of team was it build. Gatsby? I can't remember. Gatsby, Jacob, might have even been Rinku. I can't Jacob remember. Jacob wouldn't have been team build. Oh, no. Jacob that's right. Jacob was anti build. That's right. Jacob hates good shows. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> he doesn't listen to this. I know. And if he so. does, hi, Jacob. Hi, Jacob. <laughs> yeah. But. I also, on the other side of the coin, I'm very, very happy that we're also going to be watching Geki Ranger because I've been looking for an excuse to revisit that show because that was my first. That's what you were saying at lunch today. Mm -hmm. I wish that we had almost been recording while you were talking at lunch because you were saying some really good stuff about Geki Ranger and you wanting to rewatch it and all that. I can bring that up next episode. Okay. I remember pretty okay. much what I said, but we can save that for next episode. We are watching Common Rider Build episodes one through four. Um, for this episode, we're yes. watching obviously the whole season. Um, if you're new to the show, you probably don't know that, but we watched the whole show. Um, and I take my lovely, beautiful fiance. Ah, that's oh, right. we got engaged. Yeah, last episode. <laughs> it's a little fun <laughs> surprise at the finale. Um, yeah, she's still a Tokusatsu girlfriend though. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> that's but. always going to be your title. It's like Keanu Reeves. He says, on my gravestone, they're going to print. Here lives Keanu. He played Ted. <laughs> he <laughs> hates that fine. role. As long as we are all, you know, there's an understanding that I now have a beautiful ring on my finger 
and I've been promoted to fiance. So that's fine. It's a chip off the old block if you call Mabushina a block. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, did Mabushina have to cry for this? Uh, No, but it does look like Mabushina a little bit. Yeah, it does. In the light. It does. Yeah. So, Lauren, you wanted to watch Build for a long time. I did. I've been wanting to revisit it as well. Obviously, it's a pretty recent series. Everybody almost unanimously loves it. Let's talk about episode one. What happened in episode one? Well, episode one, um, and I mean, I guess technically episode two, this kind of can be said of it went at breakneck speed. (laughs) Uh, We were doing the thing where we... um, kind of commentary while we watch the first episode it's hard and it was so hard to like focus focus and- it was almost like i had to choose one or the other like comment on something or pay attention so and i'm glad you did pay attention i've seen it so i can kind of make a little bit of you know commentary here and there. yeah it just if- moves so fast um but we meet um, oh my God. I don't even know his name. Our main guy? <gasps> yes. Oh my God. Well, you got to start at the beginning. So they had a reconnaissance mission or they had a mission to Mars and they found this old temple and yes. inside they found this box that they dubbed Pandora's, Pandora's box. box. Yes. It's and on Mars. Returned it back to earth and here on earth, some dude came over and slapped its ass. I really feel like they needed better security for that whole thing. Like if that... I mean, maybe they didn't realize what Pandora's box could do, but I definitely feel like they needed some armed guards around it, like more than just a plastic cube, because look what happened. Yeah. All it took was one person rushing it. Slapping its ass. And then we have three uh, sections, dividers. So the wall rose from Pandora's yeah. box. Pandora's box like made this, what they call the sky wall. Yeah. Which is taller than the wall itself. It goes upwards. And it split the nation of Japan into three quadrants. And each one are basically like they they consider themselves to be like the majority. They consider themselves to be like, we're the ones in power. Yeah, we're number one. And so, as you can tell, it's going to lead to a war eventually. There was like like economic recovery, something about (laughs) socials, like pacifism. No, there was a pacifism one, and I said, oh, no, I don't want that one. And then economic recovery, no, nah, that sounds boring. And then the other one was something about being social, and I said, that one. I want to be in that one. And Squall said, that's the evil one, I'm pretty sure. That's the evil one. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, so we have the sky wall, and it takes place, is it a year later? It's a while later. Yeah, some time later. And um, our main character, his name is Sento. Sento. Sento, yes. Thank you. Oh my God, I can't believe I missed that. I am so sorry, you guys. <laughs> and Sento is a 20 something amnesiac who is a physician or no, a physicist, maybe. Probably. Probably. <laughs> I love that. I love that <laughs> that's on his resume or whatever. I'm going to start putting that on my resume. Yeah. Like, physicist, I can, probably. Yeah, senior level dev, probably. probably. What, do you, what, what do you mean, probably? I have amnesia, so, you know, I don't know. I just like his personality. It's, it's very funny. I don't, I'm not really big fond of the hair quirk, alfalfa. Yeah, how it like. Japanese yeah, alfalfa. Like boings up. Yeah, shout out to uh, the little rascals. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this, he's a, he's a scientist with hair boner and he um, is obsessed with Pandora's box and we find out that he is fighting these things called Smash, which he saved this reporter who was skeeved on by like the guy who's like in uh, power? Yes, he's of- so gross. He said he literally said, "Come to my hotel room and we'll talk about it all night." Gross, yeah. sir. And she gets a uh, she gets attacked by one of these monster smashes. Yeah. Which, why would they attack her? Why would they attack her? And also, that looked painful. She walked right into the spiky part yeah. of <laughs> the monster. <laughs> But, um, but she's saved by a mysterious blue and red hero who um, we we find out later dropped a matchbook. And I guess <laughs> I think that's I, episode two, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it is. Oh well, I these, I was these seem sh- like one episode. They do, they do. Yeah. I was shocked because I feel like so many like maybe it's just a Sentai thing that I'm used to, or no, I guess I've seen it in Common Rider where they don't. It's kind of like thrown at them this role. Mm-hmm. And like that's like where we get we to see them take off, on where they're yeah, but this is like this was like I feel like the first five ten minutes if that and he's already there 
he's very familiar with this role as build like he's comfortable with it and so i was kind of like oh I, I wasn't really expecting that i was expecting to see someone like literally take taking on the on mantle the yeah, yeah for the first time but no he is very comfortable with the role so it's kind of nice to just jump right into a show where like this is established already i really yeah um common writer for the most part is about 50 50 with like they already have the mantle or they're very comfortable in this role already and i feel like builds works very well because we also have mizora and the cafe owner um, I forget what his name is, but I love him. He's me too. <laughs> he's he's probably my favorite right now. I love his his drip. It's good. Yeah, he's got yeah. like that like old man kind of you know like cute look. Zany. Yeah, like it's kind of like a little on the edge, and you're like, oh, you can still kind of see you're like the young it, man. Sir, you're trying. Yeah, it. <laughs> and he's he's a good time. He's funny. Um, but like Mizora, she's this this girl that lives down in their little headquarters under the cafe, which, but, as you pointed out, is. Uh, Reused in zero one. Well, no, not not the not the headquarters. Oh, the, the, the machine, machine that she's in. Oh, well, yeah, I, I consider that part of the headquarters. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, and she basically has this role where she can take the essence from the smash that our hero Sento defeats and turn into new bottles and new powers for him to use. Yeah. She has magical powers. Nobody really knows what they are yet. Um, but yeah, that's that's her role, and so it's it's really good to kind of like have this already x amount of steps down the road so that we don't have sento trying to figure this all out because i feel like them figuring out all of this yeah, would be yeah. impossible to tell because when you really yeah. think about like how did he find these people okay well he has amnesia and he the the cafe owner found him apparently in an alley from what we saw in the flashback and presumably brought him home mm -hmm. and he's been living there for a year and he's got a year's worth of rent you know <laughs> piled up <laughs> and but like to figure out that he's like a scientist and he builds this machine that this girl that's the daughter of the cafe owner can like get in and magical power this there's no way to that that would ever right they kind of narratively need to work <laughs> yeah. go ahead and have the already established for us right i agree <laughs> but what's really good about this is obviously you know bonjo who is our other main character that we're introduced to in the first episode he's got to become a hero of sorts too. Oh, I'm sure. You've seen on Twitter, obviously. I know, I know. You, you it's really hard to, for you to keep that a, a secret. So obviously, he's the secondary. Yeah, writer. I know. Um, but so we get to see him kind of take on that mantle throughout. Like at the end of episode two, when Sento throws him the dragon bottle, like that's kind of like the christening to like, you're on your way to becoming a hero. He's on the road. And. The power that he uses of his dead fiance is <laughs> the power that he fights with pretty much for the entire series, which right. is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, episode one, Bonjo, he breaks out and they go to try to track him down because apparently he's a murderer. Yeah, he, but it was all a setup. <laughs> right. <laughs> some, some, some bald uh, prison guard. He was so bold. He injected him with that stuff right Kryptonite. there in front of everyone. <laughs> And so Sento goes to track him down and finds out that this guy has the only memories that Sento has before all this is being in like a Kryptonian bathtub. Yeah. And like being tested on by these people and like this guy that he calls the Batman, the Batman. because he's he's a common writer, but he's got like a bat visor and yeah. he's got like this horn, this like unicorn horn and he's bad business. Yeah. And they Bonjo has the exact same thing that happened to him. So that's why Sento saves him and says, I think. You know, like, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. I believe you, which is... I don't think you're a liar, man. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much episode one. It's... it's. Yeah, they take him back to the headquarters and... His fly's been open the whole time. His fly's been open the whole time, which is really funny. And I already like their dynamic. Mm -hmm. I think they nail it really good in the first yeah, episode. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But again, like, moving into episode two, that one's really breakneck too i remember it like is. <laughs> when the show first came out i watched the first episode and i was like oh that was interesting i'll watch episode two and i think episode two was the episode that made me go i don't want to watch this oh really wow i feel like episode two episode two is probably the worst in all of okay. build just because there's a lot of good moments but it's so fast pace it's so it really breakneck. Is. i feel like uh, especially speaking as someone who isn't very familiar with tokusatsu you know I'm, I'm getting my my feet wet with it mm -hmm. but i'm still very new and it just feels like so much is being thrown at me 
like, like a lot. <laughs> like he like does his like transformation and like uh, his his gorilla diamond and like punches the giant robot full of robot men, which is basically just a ripoff of Bollywood's Enderon robot, yeah. which is the same thing where the heat Chiti makes a bunch of himself little clones and. But he, like, destroys the thing. It's supposed to be, like, a huge, like, oh, my God, adversary. And they destroy yeah. it. And then it immediately cuts to the next scene. So, hey, what are you doing? And it's like, oh, my God, this thing needs to slow down. Like, yeah, I don't know if it's just they wrote way too much and then tried to fit it into the 20-minute episode. Or they were considering maybe it would be, like, a three-part. Or There's just something that's wrong there that they definitely had to cut down on and they had to trim. And because yeah. of that, it's... It's so erratic with its pacing. And like, I feel like that happens with a lot of things right now. Like we just watched um, Netflix's Fear Street. Yeah. Part one really suffers from this too, but it's it's three movies. And the first movie feels like it could have been three hours long and they cut it. And it's so breakneck that you just don't care. Like everything is just too much. It doesn't give you a time to like settle and like, right. you know, gestate what you just saw, which... Most good movies give you those little breathers, especially in a horror film. Yeah. So I feel like that's kind of what's going on with these. But. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I don't know where to pick up, really. Well, what happens um, in episode two? So they get him back to the headquarters. Um, and Sinto is explaining to the cafe owner who this is. Cafe owner does not seem to be buying his story. He's like, uh, that's a little too convenient that. The police showed up right as you got there to... Uh, Bonjo apparently killed some scientist. Yeah, yeah. And was put in jail where he was then kryptonited and yeah, <laughs> carted off. Yeah, experimented on. And we find out that um, he's got a fiance, mm -hmm. um, but we don't find this out until, I guess, more towards the middle of the episode because he breaks free. He Well, th they get interrupted by the reporter. Right. She, she finds their secret hideout because... Boss, he left the, the door open. <laughs> Which I love their secret hideout. I love that it's in a cafe, and I love that it's through the refrigerator. Um, it's not it's even so a real slick. refrigerator. It's like a mini fridge. Right, and it's so slick. I love that. And he left the door open. I thought that scene was so cute. He's like, no, because I was going to yell at you because you shouldn't bring random people into the headquarters. And so I followed you through, and <gasps> oh, I didn't close it. Didn't close it. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. Um, but she's like, I'm a reporter. I want to help you. Let me do a story on Common Rider. Because if you don't, I will expose you. And they're like, Ugh, okay, you, you got us there. Yeah. Um, so they go off somewhere. Sinto does. I can't remember where he goes. There's um, so much that happens. But like. He goes somewhere and leaves uh, Banjo with uh, Miz Mizura. Mizura, yeah. Um. Where she explains to him, I'm magical. I've got this magic power. I don't really know what it is. It's all on like a like a blackboard. She like yeah. shows it to him like, this is my role. This is what I do. I make yeah. essence from the, the smashes he defeats and turn them into powers that he can use. And he kind of tricks her. He's like, I don't think a kid like you could do this. And it must be a load of crap. And she's, she's like. Well, first of all, she's got him tied up. Like yeah. she's got him handcuffed to like one of the, the, the beams. Yeah, one of the pillar things. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he tricks her into going to do her essence thing. And while yeah, she's, she's gone, like, <laughs> he steals her phone and breaks free. She's like, you watch, I'll do it. And you're going to pay me for whatever I make too. <laughs> and then as soon as she like locks herself in there, he immediately steals her phone and calls, uh, his fiance, right? With his toes. Yeah. With his toes. <laughs> and she is literally in the act of being forced into the kryptonite bath thing. Batman is and on the phone. There, and he's there. And so Bonjo's like. F this, I'm going to go to her. And, and Batman says, why did you say that name? <laughs> <laughs> um, and so he takes off. And Mizora, when she comes out, she's like, uh-oh. She calls Sento. And she's like, yeah, by the way. Called Sento on what? Her phone was taken. I know. Was that a landline, maybe? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, calls him. And she's like, oh, and by the way, uh, he's gone. And he took my phone. So you can at least GPS him. So Sento does. Um, arrives in a flash. And a battle of, of sorts ensues, of course, because there are bad guys there right in the thick Which of it. resolves itself really quickly. And Almost immediately. He chokeholds Sento. And um, <laughs> but he, not before Bonjo tells him, like, hey, it was my girl or my fiance. Um, I'm not even sure if he says fiance, but we know it's fiance because they show the ring. They flash mm -hmm. the ring in the flashbacks. Um, but he says, 
it was a girl that told me to come to this scientist's house. Mm-hmm. He's like, why didn't you tell me that? That's kind of important. And then he gets choked out by <laughs> Bonjo. Um, and Bonjo takes off towards, I guess, her apartment complex. Is which that explodes that and a new monster, a new smash is there, which yeah. you find out is her. That's her. That's the fiance. She's apparently very ill. Uh, we've learned from a flashback and that's kind of like why he threw the fight. Is it's to very pay Pulp for, Fiction. Yeah. <laughs> um, throws the fight so that he can pay for what? her surgery. I don't get is They experimented on her and turned her into this monster and then brought her back to her own apartment. Yeah. So she could explode out of it. Like. It's the theatrics. <laughs> it's the Batman was like, what would be the coolest way for him to realize that his fiance is now <laughs> a smash? OK, we're going to put her in the apartment. And then we're going to explode it. And then the smash is going to come out and he's going to be like, Kasumi. And she's going to be like, I'm right here. So when Batman talks, did you notice what they're doing with the voice? It sounds a little gravelly or something. I don't know. It's like disguised. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. It's distorted. It's, It's clearly not a real voice. Oh, no. Do you have any idea who it is? Well, think think of some of the people that we've met so far in the show. I thought you were going to because the only people that are on my brain are like the cafe (laughs) owner. And I'm like, no, it can't be him. It's probably the guy, the the gross ass who was like staying the the counselor with me. Chancellor, I mean. All night. Yeah, it's him. Yeah, okay, that's that's a pretty good guess. It's him. It's definitely him. Yeah. I can tell by (laughs) your smile, Squall. Oh, did I give it away? (laughs) Yeah, I think you did. What if I told you it's not him? It's him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then Bonjo is trying to fight this thing, but it's also not trying to fight him. It's trying to, like, hurt itself, and Sento shows up and, like, and kills like, it. And he's like, don't. Well, he's like, no, <laughs> it's Kasumi. Please, don't hurt her. And They find out if they split yeah. the essence from her because she's type one. <laughs> yeah, she's because gonna, she's ill. There's, like, something to do with the fact that she was already ill. That, that this means, would just take it out of yeah, her and kill her. Yeah, she's going to die. And so Sento is able to like split it and keep it at bay long enough that she can have a little touching reunion with her, with her fiance. It's it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. I mean, I know it has to happen early on, but I feel like it would have hit harder if like we had had a chance to. Yeah. But I get it. I get why they did it. I understand. But it would have hit harder if we had a chance to really like appreciate their relationship or anything. <laughs> there's There's more stuff in the show that I feel like. It just, there just wasn't enough time. I get that. Especially with these two episodes feeling like four episodes. Yeah. Like each one of these felt like a two-parter that was condensed into like 25 minutes. Right. I agree. So that's pretty much it. And at the very end, they deliver her essence into a new bottle. That's a dragon bottle. Yeah. Um, We also have cafe owner also seems to have some magical powers just like his daughter because yeah. he takes the tablet with all the like tabloid stuff on Common Rider and turns it into like this like goo rod that he scratches <laughs> his back with. He's so awesome. He's so goofy. Yeah, I love him. I love him too. He's my favorite right now. So there might be something that's in the family that they all have like kind of yeah, this magical yeah. power. Do you have any clue what that might be? No. About? Okay. Uh, no idea. <laughs> um. Anything else about these episodes? No, not really. Just that I'm really excited to uh, get deeper into this. I do hope that it kind of st- it stops does. being like breakneck speed. These first two are very. I like, get it. When I when I started to rewatch build towards the end because I started it when I still lived in Minnesota. Right. And then I caught up to it back when it was around like episode forty airing. Yeah. And I was in Los Angeles. I remember. And I got past the first two episodes and I was like. Oh, Episode three on, I was like, this is, this is amazing. I love this. This is one of the best common writers easily. Yeah. So that's what you have to look forward to. Okay, cool. Yeah. We get to meet my favorite character in like 18 episodes. I know that's Grease. Yeah. Common writer Grease. Greasy boy. Kazumin. He's, yeah. oh my gosh. He's, he's the comedy that the show you don't realize is really missing until he yeah. comes in. And then it's just, oh my gosh, there's. I, there's so much that you do and I don't think you know about this show too that oh, it's just I, like I agree. Oh, I know that there are things that I don't know this is going to be a, quite the ride for the next <laughs> what 47 episodes we I have know left? oh my god <laughs> oh anything okay. else no I'm just ready to keep going let's keep chugging baby 
What do you think? Wait first. What do you think about Cento's amnesia? What do I think about? It? I guess there's not much to think about. Um, he's got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't really thought much about his amnesia. It's good when I've seen the, these shows that we watch and yeah. then can like kind of bounce things off of you and try to see like if you can piece things together because you're pretty good at it too. Oh, you think so? I'm oh. I'm the best. You at are <laughs> piecing these things together, but like you, you're really good at it too, and I feel like you're gonna. In a, in a snap, you're going to get these. I hope so. I think I need to watch a little bit more. All right. Well, let's go watch episodes three and four, and we'll be right back with you. For you, it'll just be a minute. Or less. Or less. Probably less. Yeah, it's just one ad. Okay. Depends on YouTube or Anchor or whatever you're listening to this on. <laughs> be right back. All right. So we just finished three and four. What did you think? I liked it. Uh, The plot is thickening <laughs> are you still enjoying <laughs> oh yeah of course i am of okay. course i am i'm just getting deeper and deeper in do you think there's going to be a series in the long run that you are going to enjoy and cherish? i think so i believe so yes these these two episodes three and four really kind of help cement how good the story does begin it gets to a point where literally every episode has like a huge shocking twist yeah <laughs> As you can kind of see with this, these are small baby twists. Little teeny tiny ones. Yeah, it's like Ralphie's first twist. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Ralphie? He's sitting out here with us. Yeah. Say hi. Hi, Ralphie. Fee. Oh, he's sleepy. He's not feeling good, too. He threw up a couple times. Yeah, poor baby. Sorry, I told everybody listening that. Oh, he's so embarrassed. Look at him. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about episode three. Okay. So this was a two-parter with yes. uh, the guy who drugged... Uh, Bonjo. Yes. And his family and yeah. him being tested on to. So what happened in episode three? So um I think this was in episode two that it was revealed that not what is his name? Nabashima? Something like that. Yeah, Nabashima. Um the reason he did what he did isn't because he's just some random asshole. It's because it sounds like Faust, uh the the big the organization, baddie, yeah, yeah. The big baddie organization um is basically, for lack of a better word, blackmailing him or using his family to make him do these things. So naturally, Bonjo, who is still trying to prove his innocence that he did not kill this guy, and this guy can testify to that, um, if they save his family, because if they take back uh his family from Faust, they have nothing that they can really use against nabashima well we don't really know that because well that's that, banjo I'm, banjo called him and he told him that and then he turned around and night rogue was there and he's like is that good enough so I we know, don't I'm know i'm just going with what banjo right. as far as banjo knows this is the best plan you know save <laughs> yeah. the family and then he has to testify and prove his innocence so he and the other girl the reporter i don't know her name i'm so sorry um she yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um the episode starts out or early on starts out with um It's it's a small boy. Well yeah. we see Mitan or Misora, that's her online handle. She does these little impromptu shows. Idol. Where, She's like an online idol. How uh -huh. can I forget that? That's so cute. And she uh she basically puts the call out there. Any of her listeners, anybody who's watching has any permission on Nabishima to send it her way. And um all these people, like all these like grown men are watching and like swooning in their <laughs> the chairs. shade. Yeah, I love that when funny. it showed like one of her followers and he's just this like icky looking dude and yeah. kind of like <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. But they give her information um because the reporter, her contacts were they gave her false leads basically. It didn't go anywhere. So they were like, Mitan, is that her name? Mm -hmm. Uh she can get she can get information. And sure enough, they do. They get a cell phone number and everything. Well before that they get there's a, a smash that's attacking in a park. And yes. so they sent off to go out to get him. And they build, uh, Sento, he, you know, is able to stop the smash and it's the boy's mom who was attacking him. And <laughs> she looks very bewildered when she is unsmashed. <laughs> and everybody, unsmashed. I know. <laughs> Have you ever had a smash burger before? No, no. Is that just like maybe a Minnesota thing? Well, no. No, because we had, we went somewhere one time, I think maybe even in St. Louis and you had it and I didn't eat one. Smash burger. But I went with is, you. I think better than five guys. 
I'll, I'll take your word for in it. In your mid-tier hamburger places. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so they save this mom and her son and some onlookers are like, hey, isn't that the common writer? He's isn't that fugitive. the fugitive? <laughs> Is he trying to kidnap that family? And our reporter friend, I forgot her name too. I feel so bad. For now, we'll just call her the reporter. <laughs> she was filming it and like super enthused and like oh my god he's doing this is he gonna say his catchphrase whoa look this way look this way (laughs) (laughs) um but that is really beneficial later because we find out when her and bonjo are trying to go west into the other territory sato is that it yeah Um, okay okay the the guy that's gonna smuggle them on his boat won't do it but then the mom shows up and she's like this is my husband's boat i'll let him you guys can come with it yeah fine. i'll vouch for them i accept responsibility for anything that happens you guys saved me from killing my son so, <laughs> so thanks for that yeah and she even hooks them up with like a car once they get there and some sato bucks basically <laughs> <laughs> um which i was immediately suspicious i was like hold on why is she doing all this for them like, this is a little, to me, suspicious. Mm-hmm. But I guess it turned out okay. Well, this, this, this it sucks because three and four kind of blend together because they're a two-parter. That's fine. But I think it would be fine if we talked about them, like, just in conjunction. In conjunction, yeah. yeah. Hey, nice. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Same wavelength. <laughs> the uh, best match, oh. you might even say. Oh. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> so, Sento is trying to, like, draw off uh, Nabishima who has been turned, has been turned into a monster, a smash as well. And he's fighting him with the hot Gatling as he's like, you know, flying around. Which is such a cool form. Sorry. The the biggest problem I think I have with this show is it does introduce a new form like every other episode, maybe every episode-ish. And then they never really go back oh, to no. that ever again. Yeah, I really like that form. It's so cool. There's a few that they go back to. Like, obviously he uses the hot Gatling gun a lot, but like he doesn't use the form from my recollection as much because he just keeps getting new ones right. so they're they're like hey kids here's another toy that you should I buy i can't wait to see more i really like the oh new the, the preview for the next one that's one of my favorites oh, i love it the purple and yellow ninja comic one. oh yeah. i love it it's so cool um but yeah he he defeats nabishima and there's a cobra that shows up and like swallows nabisha's body and stings him and we see a red rider yeah Ooh. The the devil's rider. Ooh. Yeah, he's got a very menacing name, doesn't he? I don't remember which episode it happened in, but they were talking about the scientist that um That's beginning of second episode. Or the third one? Or the, the uh, well, sorry, second episode in this yeah, okay. sorry, fourth. <laughs> the the fourth one, sorry. Yeah, they like show the picture of this like scientist who's like the devil's scientist or something that like did something with Pandora Box. Like we'll we'll find out more about that yeah. later. But like because Sato figured out. Sorry if I'm jumping ahead. Who's Sato? Sento. Sen- sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Still learning. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sento uh, figures out that there's like panels missing. He from got, Pandora's yeah, he box. got somehow footage from 10 years ago. We were wrong, by the way. It wasn't yeah. a year ago. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> they like immediately were like 10 years ago. And we were both like, oh, okay. <laughs> he's had, he's been around with memory loss for a year. But the Skywall incident happened 10 years ago. Right. And they have footage of when this guy slapped this Pandora box and panels, two of them came off. And the, the, um, what's his name? The chancellor. Yeah. The, uh, the head minister's son. Yeah. Basically reveals like, yes, we did have those, but they were lost, stolen three years ago. Yeah. And so the plot mm. thickens because we can definitely maybe tell that the one that we have in our headquarters is one. And if that's one, the other one that we see in the show is in Faust's Yes, their little headquarters. headquarters. So that's a little plot oh, thickening. Um, yeah. Because that's the big reveal at the end of episode four is he like smashes it out of the, <laughs> smashes out of the wall, the the panel that they use to check their best matches. Right. And um, yeah. Was there anything else big that happens i mean we get we get a little bit more from night oh fucking i can't remember their names night stalker no that that was no there's blood stalk (laughs) 
Night, Night Raid. Or something? Night Rogue. Yeah, that sounds okay. Whatever. Okay, <laughs> we're still learning. This is still new. I don't remember any. Of, I I don't really remember any of the the titles usually. For That's the okay. That's okay. But yeah, that was pretty much it for that episode, I believe. Um, mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that was it. That was it because like the one of the last things we really saw was, uh, Sento getting like stabbed in the back basically with the stinger yeah and like passing out in this warehouse in episode four he wakes up and uh cafe boss yeah tracked him down found him in a, a warehouse passed out and brought him back to safety which i was like does how does he know where he is like does he have a tracker on him yeah remember okay. he in like the first episode he's like basically the guy in the chair okay 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 because i'm like it's either him or me sora they're they're both trying to help sento yeah, so he definitely just tracked him down and went and saved him. But there is another big reveal with him later, and I'm very surprised. You called this, I want to say, a minute before it actually happened. Yes, yes. But Sento basically confronts the cafe owner, yeah, boss, and tells him, like, I've known you for a year, but I really don't know anything about you. <laughs> yeah, I'm working for you and doing some crazy, crazy shit. <laughs> But I've realized I don't know anything about you. And this comes on the heels of that whole conversation about where are those two missing panels. Mm -hmm. And the chancellor basically tells him that, like, you know, a lot of people thought maybe it was an inside job. Um, And then he shows like a still of the the person dashing towards. But you don't get a good look at it. I mean, it's just like it's like one of those Bigfoot sighting pictures, (laughs) you know, like it's blurry in motion. If you squint, maybe you can understand and see more. Um, but they're like, we don't know. We think it was an inside job. And you called this before it actually showed it. But we see Boss was in one of those suits of the people that were yeah. around there. And potentially he was the guy that bum rushed and slapped Pandora's box open. Yeah. Um, so that's interesting. What I, do you think of that? I, I want to know more. I want. I feel like he has to have a good reason. I don't. I don't think that this is going to be one of those or that he's going to be one of those characters that turns out to be secretly a bad guy. Like, I don't think he's pulling the long con. I hope he's not. He just seems too goofy and like Mm -hmm. fun loving. Carefree almost. Yeah. I don't I don't see him pulling the old switcheroo on us and actually being a bad guy. At least I hope not. So I know we talked about it earlier this episode. Do you have any idea who... Night Rogue and Bloodstock's identities are. So because we saw um, at the very, very beginning of this episode, it looked like the prime ministers of each little section of Japan Mm -hmm. were having a meeting and they're like, these are all the wonderful things that we're doing in our little section. Look at how, look at all the progress. Look, we're amazing. Mm -hmm. And then the one guy was like, so, like, the prime minister. the from one, ours. Yeah, from ours. is like, so I'm assuming that because you guys are so proud of yourselves, neither one of you wants to work together as a nation. <laughs> and they're like... He says it as it is. <laughs> he does. The other two are assholes. I love like ours. And they're, like, so coy about it. Like, I think the woman is like, well, really, we can't as long as the wall is up. There's just no way. And the other guy <laughs> is like, yes, she's right. There's simply no way. And he's like... <sighs> right. Okay, that's what I f- kind of figured, but thought I'd at least ask. Yeah, okay, I guess we can't work together until that wall is down. I don't remember if they actually, like, discuss it more, but you can definitely tell that the guy from the main one that we're located in right now was the prime minister of all of Japan, and now he's lost. Oh. The other two are much younger, and they look like they would have been, like, heads in charge of something. Yeah, like cabinet members or something like that. And because they found themselves on one side of the wall, they just took over and became the prime minister of their section. Usurpers. So they basically, yeah, have, like, the power going to their head a little bit. Oh, yeah, I can tell. But Especially with that woman. Yeah. she You can tell that she's unhinged already yeah. with the power. So that is kind of... For, I think right now that's fueling my guess is that... It maybe it's them. You think it's those two guys? Maybe it's them. Hmm. Yeah. That, well, at least who, right now, that's like that's just what I'm going off of. Since we've kind of been introduced to them, we see that they're a little unhinged and well, doing didn't, their own thing. Didn't at the very end of episode three, we had the Chancellor in a car holding yeah. what looked like a bottle. Oh, he's in on it for sure. He's in on it. Didn't for you sure. say that he was Night Rogue? 
Did I? I? Yeah. I thought I was saying he was the bat dude. That That is Night Rogue. Oh. Night Rogue is the bat dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think I was talking about? The red one. No, that's Bloodstock. Uh, what? Uh, okay, okay. Night Rogue is the Batman unicorn. Okay. And Bloodstock is the red man cobra. Okay. Well, then in that case, maybe I'll say it's the Chancellor is Night Rogue. And maybe his little friend. His little Ryunusuke with the glasses. Yeah, his little bestie. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's um bloodstock but mm-hmm. i don't know he also doesn't seem badass enough to be bloodstock could be a i i don't know what if the roles are reversed what do you mean what oh, if oh <laughs> does it fit a little bit more now it could yeah. could you see the chancellor being a little goofier kind of peppier like maybe I mean, it is a possibility, I guess. What was the joke I made when they were fighting Nabushima in the fourth episode? Oh, yeah. He like shot his devil steam. And I was yeah. like, he's blown some steam up his ass because yeah. he got him really big that and powerful. That was funny. That was very funny. But yeah, these are, this is, this is why I like Kamen Rider. And I think Kamen Rider works really good for what we do on this show. Yeah. Is it's usually two episode parts. Yeah. And they work really good in conjunction. Like I was, to be honest, a little disappointed double didn't make it to the end oh i'm so sorry that is one of my if you guys can remember this like whenever we do our (laughs) next whatever yeah um i know it's gonna be a while but double it's very high up on my list double literally the entire show is two parts after two parts really and so like we would watch two episodes we could just talk about that whole thing because it's like it's I, I hate to harp, uh, go on, you know, double here while we're talking about build, but like just to kind of build it up a little bit for you. At build. <laughs> <Ooh>. um. <laughs> Ralphie? <laughs> Ralphie. Do you like double? No comment. Uh, <laughs> the nice thing about double is it is it's like a whodunit. So it's two episodes. The first episode will give you everything you need to know about who did it. And if you are smart enough, you can figure it out. Typically with just that one episode, there's some clues usually like there's I think only like maybe one or two of the two parts that aren't really a whodunit, but it it just would work so good that we could just, yeah, that's why I was excited for maybe that one to win. But Bill definitely does have a lot of those two parters, but I know that sometimes they, it's like a continuous story yeah that we might get a two parter that like ends on one of our episodes and then we'd have to continue it on the next one. Oh no. Yeah, but that's just the belly of the beast. Yeah, that's fine. Anything else fun with this episode? I know like we see uh, Nabashima's wife and daughter and... Um, yeah, they have to do that rescue mission. Yeah. Um, and what'd you say? There's no way Nabashima and this woman made that cute of a girl. <laughs> yeah, that little girl is adorable. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. <laughs> but she is super cute. Um, and the reporter chick, so they, they infiltrate the apartment dressed as like delivery people. Mm-hmm. And they convince the wife and to be smuggled out in a to giant be smuggled box. Out in a box because um, the reporter's like, he is putting himself in danger for the two of you. So we are going to save you guys. Just come with us. And immediately, they like, get immediately, as soon as they like get out of the apartment, they get attacked. Um, and we forgot to mention this. Bonjo actually starts fighting with that dragon bottle. Yeah, the essence of his yeah, he's like punching dead fiancé. He's like steaming with I'm it. I'm like, he's steaming. What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, I think, one of the greatest scenes in this show is their uh, reporter chick. What the hell is her name? She goes and gets the um, the van, and they're all like escaping on van. Yeah. And one of the, the robot guys like attaches itself to the roof, and it's got like a minute, and they're like, wait a minute. Does this mean a bomb? <laughs> and they're like we're gonna have to jump and bonjo's like leaning out the the van start the boat start the boat, the boat. Start and they're like oh my god start the boat I, we're gonna have to jump it <laughs> i love that scene it's so That's goofy great. they That's jump great. out <laughs> they fly over and yeah. it explodes and luckily they do save the family um and nabushima and nabushima yeah they bring them all back to the headquarters but he has he's got memory loss just like sento he can't remember anything not even his daughter, but uh, Banjo's really upset because that means 
he's not going to be able to testify to his innocence. He's and, upset over that. He's upset over this this girl. This little girl's been practicing so long to see her dad to show her this like cool little rubber band trick. Yeah. Thing, yeah. And he just doesn't know or care. And he's he literally like, pulls her off of him. Like as she's got her <laughs> arms around him, hugging him. Dad, oh my God. And he literally like removes her. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like I worked with kids, like we would have kids that would like glomp onto us and it's just like, you have to like, like no, I don't, <laughs> I don't know who you are. Get away from me. You're going to make me sick. Cause kids for the most part are kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what he was thinking. Yeah. Cause he's got amnesia. He doesn't know who this little girl is, Ugh. but Sento has a really cute heartfelt. Oh, it's so sweet. With the little two batteries and the light. And he's like, this is your dad's memories and this is what's happened to them. So unfortunately... It won't work, but if you and your mom, you know, build up other memories with him, it could fix it and, you know, help. He'll, he'll absolutely be recovered. Yeah, and it, and she gets it. She understands, and he gets it, too, and he's kind of like, oh. And it's like, that's that's your hero. That's... Yeah, because Bonjo's just yelling at him. <laughs> I know. I, Bonjo, Bonjo is like, yeah. He, like, gets down and like, ah, she practiced so hard for you. What are you doing? And I feel like you see a lot of writers that would be like that. Like, Gentaro from Forze would definitely yeah. be like, what the hell's wrong with you? You know, she's done all this. Come on. Yeah. But Sento, Bill Nye the Science Guy there, is just yeah. like, here, I'm going to show this to you practically. It's a very sweet moment. And I'm glad we got such a sweet moment so early on. Sento's Sento's a great guy. Yeah, I I like him a lot. His chemistry with Bonjo was really powerful too. I I like it. Um, I think I, everybody works really well. On yeah, the team. I really like this cast so far. Um, and then the episode ends with um, not Na, uh Nabashima. He sees like they have a a panel in the wall mm -hmm. with the bottles, and he runs over there and is like, "Oh my God, they had this at Faust too." And they were like, wait a minute. I don't remember anything. I remember one thing. <laughs> <laughs> right? And they're like, wait a minute. We previously thought that the only person who could make these bottles was us. us. So how the hell does Faust have them? And so Sinto kind of loses it. And he starts like attacking the wall to tear out the panel right as um, cafe owners coming home. And he's like, what's going on? What are you doing? And he pulls it out of the wall and dun, da, da, da. it's one of the missing Pandora box panels. And the episode ends with Sinto being like, tell us now, are you a member of Faust? And it just cuts to cafe dun, owner dun, looking dun. like, oh. Do you think he's a member <laughs> of Faust? Well, the next time on literally starts him going, I'm a member of Faust. <laughs> but I don't think it's as black and white as that. I think there's more to it. Do you think the cafe owner is a part of this? Like, what, what do you think is his role in all this? Oh, that's so hard to say. Um, again, I what I do feel in my gut is that he is not a double agent, like, against Sinto and mm -hmm. them. I feel like maybe at one point, he was um, working for Faust and then saw too much or realized, like, I got to get out. I got to get out. Maybe stole this, the panel. This is not what I believed this organization was. And yeah, maybe stole the panel. But he realizes that Faust is a danger. And maybe he's doing the long con on Faust. Um, but I don't think he's a bad guy. I don't think he's uh, a double agent against Sinto and those guys. I don't think he would do that. Do you want me to point something out that might be a red herring that yeah. maybe you didn't notice? Yes, so I do. Who's one of the new characters that we just introduced in the show? It's Bloodstock, right? Yeah. What are his colors? Red. And? Black. What was the color of cafe owner's helmet out of his motorcycle? I guess red and black. I remember a lot of people were like, when the show came out, but also Sento's helmet is red and black too. Yeah. <laughs> but I like, I like looking at little things like that, but do you think he's, he's one of those guys or do you think it's the two chancellor and his little aide? Or do you think it's the, the other rulers of the other sections? No, maybe not. You kind of got me off of that one. <laughs> Cause they're in their own section. They're in their own section. I think they're dumb asses, um, <laughs> but I'm not sure that they're like that evil, I guess. Right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't think that, I think 
the cafe owner is in on it to a certain extent, but mm-hmm. I don't think that he's trying to okay. to play play our boys. I don't think he's trying to do that. Yeah. I'm just trying to see like if there's any fun things that you can maybe mention that might get brought up later. <laughs> but no, uh this this is off to a great start, I think. Yeah. This is gonna be an enjoyable season here on Tokusatsu Girlfriend. I hope so. Common Rider Build is one of those that when we started, people were like, You gotta watch Build. Build, build, build. Um, so it's great that it's finally here. Yeah. You know, I think moving to the whole you guys get to help choose what happens. I think so. I it was so. bound to happen. And, and I'm happy it happened. Like I said, Build has been one that I've been wanting to watch. So this is very convenient. There's just so much good about this show. The characters, yeah. the stories, the arcs, the twists. The song. The songs, the suits. Oh, it's so good. The stakes. Everything about this is just, it, it's crazy. Like we were watching him doing the hot gattling, you know, shooting all the dudes. Yeah. And it's like. Geo came after this, Zero One came after this, and Saber yeah. came after this, and this still looks better than most of those that I've seen from those. Right. I would agree. Like, oh my God. Everything about this is just so slick. It's really good. It's very good. I'm excited to watch more. Yeah. Me too. Yay. Cool. Well, hey. Okay. If you guys want to uh, help us support, we have a Patreon over, it's just under my name, Squall Charleston, or you can follow us over on Twitter at Tokusatsu GF. Or on our individual Twitters, Lavender Wave with two R's. Two R's. And Squall Charlson on the Twitter. Yeah, we will see you guys not next week. We are doing an episode a week, but we won't see you for build next week. We will see you for Geki Ranger. We're going to try Ooh. juggling two shows yeah. here. See how that works. We'll see. <laughs> You're afraid that you would get mixed up with the two stories. Yes, this is true. I think they're pretty opposite that okay. it should be okay. And then I'm, I feel confident then. So next week we will see you guys for episodes one through four of Geki Ranger. Uh. And Patreon, be on the lookout. That episode will be up early, probably by the time that this one's live, as well as our episode one live commentary, which starts off with John wrestling pandas. It's Okay. Th- this is such a night and day difference. It's so, yeah, oh my God. <laughs> I, I'm here for it. Geki Ranger is so happy, so lovey. And build is so dark and sad and miserable at times. Oh, okay. But in a good, fun way that you're just like, oh, I got to watch more. Okay. I'm here for it. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) All right. Thank you for listening. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.